Welcome back inside of the Dynasty Draft Room. This is the Draft Seminar, and I am your host, the FF underscore educator, Matt Hicks, joined as always by the gridiron scholar, John Lobb. John, we have a fantastic player to talk about right now, and that is Clyde Edwards Elair, the running back from the national champion LSU Tigers. John, why don't you go ahead and uh, jump into our lesson here? Hey, Matt, you know, I have to admit that he's one of the players that I missed on early in the college fantasy football season. I was obsessed with that Tigers passing game, and I kind of overlooked Clyde Edwards Alaire early on in the season, and I missed out on picking him up off the waiver wire. But man, was he fantastic coming down the stretch for the national champion Tigers. Now, let's look back. You have to put him in context here. Because LSU has always been a loaded program in the backfield. In high school, Clyde Edwards Hilaire was a four star prospect and one of the best runners in Louisiana. But he had been trapped on that depth chart behind players like Darius Geis and Leonard Fournette early in his college tenure. Now, this year, he had a meteoric rise up draft boards with a spectacular campaign with over 1,400 yards rushing and 55 receptions, which established a school record for running backs. For the season, he was All-SC first team, LSU team captain, and football MVP. And in one of the greatest individual performances of the season, he was named SEC Offensive Player of the Week against Alabama. I'll never forget that afternoon. He had 103 yards rushing. He had nine receptions for 77 yards and four touchdowns. What a tremendous afternoon and terrific senior season Clyde Edwards-Alaire had of LSU. What do you think about him, Matt? Yeah, John, I think you said it perfectly. This is a player who came onto the scene in his senior season, or or I should say in his uh, junior season last year with LSU. He was somebody, John, you know, I'm honed in uh, covering the SEC, and I had actually predicted – John Emery Jr., the the running back who was the true freshman at LSU last year to to be the main back at LSU. So he surprised a lot of folks. But when you look at what he put on tape in 2019, it is impossible to dispute the talent with Clyde Edwards Hilaire and how effective he can be when utilized properly and given the opportunity that he was. So let's go into it, John, here, and let's talk a little bit about the, those production numbers and how they uh, how they measure up to the benchmarks that you have set in place for the running back position and projected success at the next level. Matt, it's very interesting because you have to understand he hasn't always been the lead back until this season. So when you look at this production profile, rushing yards are going to be low, only 2,130. But the good news is – that he's got very fresh legs coming into the NFL. Now, on a positive note, he averaged 5.7 yards a carry at LSU against elite you know, SEC competition. He also had 69 career receptions. And when you look at LSU, when you look at recent running backs like Darius Geis and Leonard Fournette, they did not come out with a lot of career receptions into the NFL. But here's one who has that on his resume. Now, his 2019 season was just spectacular, as we've mentioned. Yards from scrimmage, 1,867. Wow, that's incredible. Now, in an offense that was prolific with game breakers all over it, his team scrimmage yards distribution was 22%. So he almost garnered a quarter of the Tigers' total production on offense. Now, I was so high on him pre-combine. But after the combine, he disappointed us a little bit with his lack of elite athletic ability. His 40-yard dash time was only 4.61. So it's got a concern, but football is more than just straight line speed, my friend. But obviously, I would have loved to have seen that in the low 4-5 range. Now, he did not run the three-cone drill or the 20-yard shuttle. So while the film is great in short yards and tight spaces, we don't know his totality of athletic ability because we didn't see those drills. I have a second round grade on him right now. I would not be surprised if he goes in the first. But Matt, what does the film tell us about Clyde Edwards Alaire? Yeah, John, I think you said a lot of it. Um, in, in the combine performance, although it may have been a little disappointing, 
Um, sometimes you just need to see a player and the way that he is able to perform in the game. And I think Edwards Hilaire is one of those guys that just really found success in such a variety of ways. He did not find it with straight line speed, and that's something we're actually going to see when we jump into the film breakdown here. But he found it in so many other ways. So let's talk about Clyde Edwards Hilaire, and let's go ahead and throw on the film here and... Uh, and jump into it first against Vanderbilt and you can see he is extremely explosive off the line of scrimmage but like you said although he gets to the second level very quickly you can see that Vanderbilt is able to catch up with him downfield those defensive backs but he burst off the line of scrimmage and he got 50 yards before they even got close to him he's very creative in space you can see here he takes the ball off in the flat he, is, uh, he uses the juke move, he hits the B button, he gets the spin, he cuts over again. He ends up missing three tackles before he's brought down, and he makes a lot out of nothing. He's very dangerous in between the tackles. He makes himself small and fits into spots that he has no business being in and fights forward. He is a tenacious player that can also be an effective pass catcher. You can see here he he fights all the way to the end against the Georgia defenders, some of the biggest linebackers in, the, in college football. Um, this past season, but he still manages to get uh, drag himself past the first down marker there on that play. So you can see, although you mentioned it, the pure speed, the pure numbers might not be fantastic. You can tell a lot of people are getting very excited about Clyde edwards helaire because of the way that he can win. And if he finds himself on an NFL roster where he can get a large volume of work, I think we're looking at a player with a very high ceiling. Matt, I completely agree with you. He could be special. I love watching him on film. He's five foot seven and 207 pounds. But man, he is not diminutive with the ball in his hands. He is a bruising ball carrier who wears down opponents with a powerful punch and tackle breaking elusiveness. I just really love watching him play. He plays much bigger than his stature might indicate. He has fanciful vision and remarkable patience behind the line of scrimmage. He has lightning quick feet and he's a smooth athlete who easily changes directions. He has pronounced lateral agility and, and top notch jump cuts. I think there's a little bit of Devin Singletary and Maurice Jones Drew in this athletic bucket that I see when I watch him play my friend. He has good anticipation stupendous short area quickness and contact balance. He reads blocks and he uncovers holes. He dips in and out of a tackler's grasp. He constantly drives forward to gain extra yardage. I really like this young man. And if you watch enough film, you'll sporadically see him with these notable spin moves that are just fantastic. He clearly has a role in the NFL I have a second round grade. Don't be surprised if he goes in the first. Yeah, and here at the Dynasty Draft Room, we have him graded out at an 82.2. That projects him to be a mid-level starter in the NFL. That is a very good projection here from a fantasy football standpoint um, on the Dynasty Draft Room grading scale. So we are excited about him as well. I personally right now, before the NFL Draft, have him as my running back four. So there's a lot to like about this back out of LSU. You could find all of John's fantasy football rookie profiles at, at uh, footballdiehards.com and you could check out um, and you could check out all of my work at dynastydraftroom.com and that does include the fantasy football the 2020 fantasy football rookie guide which is now available for download at dynastydraftroom.com. All right, thanks for listening everybody. Pencils down. Let's